Hey people, it's me again. So, anyways, um, one of the reasons why I hadn't really done a whole lot of, uh, videos in the last, uh, couple of days was because I was trying out, um, that one camera that I was showing you guys there. So, as, as far as that goes, I think that camera just stopped working all of a sudden, you know? And as far as that goes, here, you know, I, I had bought, like, about three rolls of those Ilford uh, HP Plus 400 ISO rolls. And I only managed to get, like, to use, like, one entire roll out of all the three of them. But I don't know what was wrong with the camera there, because when I was trying to take a picture, it would make this clicking noise, you know, like, it, like, it sounds like a, like a, a, a paper jam in the printer, sort of thing like that, you know, but nothing was there, you know, and then, and then I opened it and tried to expect the film, and it was just still working, but for some reason, it just wouldn't take a picture, you know, and so then I just had to, like, rewind the whole thing and, and throw the film in the trash because of that, you know, so, anyways, um, although there's more than one, like, film camera in the house, you know, I think I also had, like, a film camera somewhere in my room or somewhere in, in one of the bonus rooms or, or boxes around here, and that one camera I got... I think was a birthday present. I think it was for my 16th birthday. I think there in that camera was just your your basic film camera, how to flash, but it can also do uh, panoramic prints as far as that goes. And I think I had used it a couple of times, but I think there was just, you know, I don't know why I stopped using it. I think there was just something wrong with it, or some other things there, you know, I don't really remember the exact story there, but, and then there was, like, this other, uh, digital camera that I had, but I forgot, I forgot what it was called, but it was one of those, but it was, it wasn't really that much of a great camera, because it didn't really have a whole lot of storage, because I don't really remember how much you can store on there, but I'm, I only managed to maybe got out like at least four or five um, pictures out of it and out of it and maybe like a couple of videos there because I, I remember taking it with me around uh, Christmas of 02, I think. Yeah. And then I took like a pictures of my cousins and and then I did, like, a video of that sort. And then I think I remember taking a picture of one of my brother's cats with that there. But, but, uh, other than that, I think I didn't really use it that much because of, because of the fact that it just had a limited amount of storage, you know, it wasn't really like how, um, the DSLRs or those type of cameras today where you can just simply, um, put in an SD card and, and then, and there you go, you know what I mean? So, as far as that goes there, you know, um, And then I think it was, like, one of my brothers also had, like, a DSLR camera or was one of those ones. And that one could also record videos. And I had used it a, a, a few times as far as that goes. I mean, it, it was way back around the fall of, of 07 there. And um, at, at any case, you know... What happened there was, I think my 
brother had lost it somehow. And I don't know what had happened to that camera there. And then it was just about maybe four years ago at this time was when my dad had gotten one of those uh one of those digital cameras I, I forgot what was it called and there was some sort of Panasonic or Samsung digital camera that was kind of mid 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 range or something like that but and then he was always been a bit overprotective over that you know and then what happened was he lost it he had lost it somewhere and and it was the irony of all that that he thought that I was going to lose it or or something of that sort, you know. But it's just strange when that sort of thing can happen there. So uh, as far as that goes, you know, I think I, I decided that I'm probably going to try to look into getting another film camera as far as that goes because it, it, in some ways, you know, it's a bit nostalgic as far as like getting a roll of film and then loading it up and all that, you know, and then dropping it off at some, you know, like some of the pharmacies and getting them developed, you know, even though they don't really do that sort of thing that much anymore, because since everybody has like cell phones that, that can take pictures and stuff like that, as well as, um, People having DSLRs and all that there too. You know what I mean? And then considering as far as that goes when it comes to like film photography, then there's also some people that are kind of more having a, a, a blended approach to that there where it's where they just take pictures like with the film camera and then develop them on their own and then use like a film like a negative scanner as far as that goes and then have it like printed on on a inkjet photo printer sort of thing like that too you know rather than the old fashion like photo prints like that you do in the dark room of that sort you know but, I mean, considering all of that, you know, the other thing that also ha has also brought, been brought back nowadays is the whole uh, Super 8 film, you know, <laughs> as far as that goes. And then what my mom had told me, it was, it was one of the great uncles was always the one that was filming everybody but he was always filming his children and, you know, my mom's cousins on that side of the family as far as that goes. And at at one point, you know, I think one of them had had uh, given us, like, a uh, DVD of all the home movies that they took of, and it was, like, right around, like, the late... 50s early 60s of that sort there you know because then I remember watching this sort of thing uh about five years ago when it was one of my aunt's birthdays there and then we were pointing out like oh this is so and so and this is so and so you know and then there was one the film there was was of my grandpa and it was like it was right after uh my uncle on that side of the family was born and and then he had a, a celebratory cast on his leg you know it's a long story i don't really want to go into details about that there yeah but and then there was another home movie were where it was it was that same aunt was being brought home by the from the hospital and then my mom was there uh driving uh whichever aunt that was 
that was uh, tagging along as well as my grandparents there from there. You know, but as far as that goes, you know, I think there was also like a VHS tape of one of my brothers around around the time was doing one of those uh, stupid little re recitals that uh, that he had back then when he was in elementary school, that sort. You know, and I think somewhere around there, there's also like a VHS uh, video of uh, of like all around the house and there's some sort of video essay that one of my other brothers had to do. And then I think in my room, there's also a, uh, a bunch of mini DV tapes that I've recorded probably about just a little bit over 15 years ago and all that, you know. And as far as that goes, I mean, I haven't really been able to, like, transfer all of it into, uh, a DVD as far as that goes there, but, and come to think of it, looking back at that there, that, that one laptop that we had at that time, I could have transferred that on, on that, but I needed to have a firewire cable for it, or I needed to have, like, a, a mini firewire, or whatever it was, like, many to many firewire for it there, you know what I mean, but at at the same time, you know this that one uh, uh, company like the dark room can do this sort of thing, you know, as far as transferring your old VHS tapes to DVDs or uh, mini DV to D to DVDs or Super Eight to or uh, Digital A or stuff like that, you know. As well as just your regular 35 millimeter film, but it also does like 150, you know. But I don't know if it does like if they do um, uh, disc film there because somewhere around here there was also a disc camera, but it was one of those uh, ones that was like a kid disc camera there, but. The the thing was the the little uh battery door for it was is missing, so I can't really use the flash for that one, you know. And as far as that goes, there's like, uh, there's like two, uh, one twenty or one ten cameras there. But those are like those little cameras that are kind of a little bit more horizontal and then you have to attach the flash on the top. There's two of those. One is like my dad's. It's a more professional model. And then the other one was like a toy uh, model there. And that was, originally it was one of my brother's and then it became mine as far as I can say. And as far as the other kind of cameras there we had like the Polaroid cameras there and I think we had about two Polaroid cameras there and I think the one one of them was was one of my brothers and another one was another brother's and that one that was like my other brother's it was I think something happened to it there and that the flash doesn't work anymore but it can still take pictures you know but just not flash and I think the other one was like, it was one of the cameras that was like that too, where it couldn't take, it couldn't take a uh, flash pictures or something like that, you know, but that was like the other one. But I do remember one point in time when we were getting like the Polaroid camera there. And I think it was that when I put one of the cartridges, it, it, it malfunctioned and basically spit the entire thing and then I was like crying because like like how how can that sort of thing had happened there you know we bought uh, a, 
a cartridge of it, you know, of that, and it, and it would just spit the whole thing out there, you know. And I think maybe that was one of the reasons why my mom or my dad would buy more than one cartridge at the time, because just in case if one is defective and starts spitting out the entire um, pictures of that sort, you know what I mean? But nowadays, it's like we can we can just basically shoot, take pictures with our cell phones or DSLRs. And as far as if we want to have uh, prints and all that, we would have to like use like one of those inkjet gloss printers and all that there. And I've already had printed a couple pictures with the gloss uh, inkjet paper and all that there. And then I just already had bought like a newer one of these, you know. So anyways, I've been rambling a, a bit too long here, so I'll just like stop. And so anyways, talk to you guys later.